This is your RE for week commencing the 22nd of February. Your LC is Can I Show Understanding of the Lord's Prayer? Just to refresh your memory, communion means being at one with. The celebration of the Eucharist is a sign of being at one with God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as well as being at one with one another. It is about God making the world holy and of people offering worship to God. In year five, you learned about how the Eucharist is a memorial of Jesus' sacrifice. Jesus' sacrifice unites the whole church, those in heaven and those on earth, and makes it one church. That is why in the Eucharistic prayer, reference is made to Mary and all the saints. A reminder of Eucharistic prayer for children, three. The priest says, Jesus now lives with you in glory, but he is also here on earth among us. We thank you and say, and all respond, glory to God in the highest. One day he will come in glory, and in his kingdom there will be no more suffering. No more tears, no more sadness. We thank you and say, glory to God in the highest. Father in heaven, you have called us to receive the body and blood of Christ at this table and to be filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit. Through this sacred meal, give us strength to please you more and more. Lord our God, remember Francis our Pope, Malcolm our Bishop and all the other bishops. Help all who follow Jesus to work for peace and to bring happiness to others. Bring us all at last together with Mary, the mother of God, and all the saints to live with you and to be one with Christ in heaven. And the priest takes the chalice and the paten with the host, and lifting them up, he sings or says, through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. And the response is, Amen. So the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer. The communion rite focuses on peace, unity and forgiveness. The Christian family comes to the Lord's table united in love of Jesus and of one another. They pray the Our Father between the Eucharistic prayer and the giving of Holy Communion. It sums up everyone's prayers and hopes. It is addressed to Our Father, not my Father, so it unites everybody in the love of the Father. It was the prayer that Jesus himself gave us. The disciples asked Jesus for help to pray and he gave them that prayer. It is the prayer which unites all Christians, whatever their denomination. And we've learned previously about different denominations or different uh, Christian groups. The first part of this prayer is addressed to God, honouring and longing for the coming of God. The second part asks for our needs, food, forgiveness, avoidance of difficulty. The last part applies to our daily lives, forgiving others. Here's the Lord's Prayer, of course which we've said many times in school. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So consider these questions. Why do you think the Christian family says this prayer before receiving Jesus in Holy Communion? And what challenges you most in the prayer and why? These are just some questions to think about before your main task. And here is your task. I'd like you to choose. Choose task A. You can write the Our Father out in sections and by each section explain how you would apply the prayer to daily life, particularly emphasising unity. So that means focusing on unity, a word we've come across earlier in this topic, being united, unity. Task B, you could write your own version of this prayer and decorate it with suitable symbols to represent the three parts. 